Hi, in this fourth chapter on the series of lectures for basics of databases and SQL, we are going to cover the designing of databases. So this is the fourth lecture of the whole series. So in general, we recall in chapter two, large databases are bad because they are difficult to manage and they can take quite a lot of time if we want to access the data in a very large database. So the solution we have learned in chapter 2 is we will perform database normalization where we actually divide the large database into smaller tables. So each table is related to other tables so that they can be easily accessed. So this is the set of database that we have used in chapter 2 and the table on top re represents the table before we perform the normalization and the table below on the left and right represents the tables after we perform normalization. So notice that the result of normalization we will actually reduce the duplication of information so that we do not store unnecessary information in the tables and this will reduce the size of the database and speed up operations and in the design of databases we use the entity relationship diagram or the short form is ER diagrams so ER diagrams example looks like this where we have two tables the student table is related to the preferences table with a line shown below and we can further represent the relationship between the two tables using the primary key and the foreign key concept so in this case we have the primary key in the student table the student ID and the foreign key the student ID will appear in the second table as a foreign key in the preferences table it has its own primary key the food ID so just to highlight the concept of the foreign key so the foreign key is essentially a primary key in the related table so in this case we have the primary key in student ID will appear as a foreign key in the second table the student ID so this is to ensure that the user will know the relationship between the student table and the preferences table so now let's take a look at how we can draw the relationship between the entity diagram so the ER diagram will be drawn the relationship using the crow's foot notation so this is essentially how it will look like on the right similar to the actual crow's foot so let's take a look at how we can represent the relationship so the first type of crow's foot notation we can get is the shown here the one to one uh, representation so assuming these uh, two tables the student table and the seat table so assuming one student is assigned to one seat this is how you represent the symbol over here using two vertical lines as a one student to one seat notation the next way we can also represent using the cross for notation is the one to more representation so in this example we have the two tables the teacher table and the student table and we can also illustrate in this case that one teacher represented by the two vertical lines can be related to two one or more students in this case the one and the more is the triangle over here 
The third way of uh, close food notation and representation is like the one or more to one or more representation. So in this example, we have two tables, the student table and the cost table. So for this case, we can have one or more students taking one or more courses. So how to represent this in the closed food notation is using the vertical line for one, the more will be the triangle. And similarly on the right hand side for one, the vertical line and the triangle for the more operator. So this is both one or more to one or more. And the last possible operation you can use in the closed food notation is the one to zero or more. So in this case we have these two tables, the cat table and the kittens table. So let's say in this case we have the case of one cat takes care of zero or more kittens. So the one cat will be represented by the two vertical lines and the zero or more kittens will be the zero, the zero shown on the symbol here and the more will be the triangle shown here. So the closed foot notation can be represented or summarized uh, using the technical term known as cardinality. So the cardinality essentially is the number of associations between the entities in the relationship. So let's wrap up this chapter with uh, a few short quizzes. The first question shown here is which option best describes the ER diagram below? So complete the sentence we have how many students can have how many favorite food? Okay, so this is the ER diagram that is given to you. So could you translate the information? The shown over here is for the first blank. And for the second operation over here is for the second blank. And the next question in this quiz is, let's say you have this statement. Each given the statement that each class has a form teacher and each teacher can be a form teacher of only one class. So construct an ER diagram for this statement. That's all for this chapter. Thank you.